Hi, welcome again to this uh, new lesson on Laplace transforms. So in this lesson, we'll discuss and solve differential equations using the knowledge we gained from the first four lessons uh, of Laplace transforms. Okay, so kung maaalala natin, sa module number one, we discussed yung mga ordinary differential equations and yung mga methods available to us paano mag-solve ng mga differential equations. So now, we will try to solve yung mga dif same differential equations pero gagamit tayo ng Laplace transform and then uh, eventually we'll, we'll compare kung alin ang mga advantages ng Laplace transform over yung conventional method natin ng pag-solve ng mga differential equations. Okay? So, let's start. So, for our example, first example, we have this initial value problem. So, dun sa first modules natin, uh, first few lessons natin, meron tayong mga initial value problems. And then, sinasolve natin yun using, let's say, uh, separation of variables, meron tayong mga linear, ODE, may exact, and then yung mga homogeneous. So now, we'll discuss yung uh, initial value problem. Same problem, but different approach using Laplace transforms. So, consider we have this uh, differential equation that we wish to solve. Y double prime minus Y is equal to P with these initial values Y of 0 is equal to 1, y prime of 0 is equal to 1. So, yan yung ating problem. And the way we solve differential equations using Laplace transform is very straightforward. Ang gagawin natin dito, kukunin na at natin agad yung Laplace transform ng given equations. And isa-substitute na natin yung ating initial value problem. And then we'll work uh, yung mga algebraic manipulations natin dito sa makukuha natin transform, and then ibabalik natin yon yung transform na yon gagamitan natin ng inverse Laplace transform para makuha natin yung uh, solution. So, remember, we have two types ng solution sa isang differential equations. We have the general solution, so yun yung may mga constant, and yung particular solution. Yung particular solution, ito na yung unique solution dun sa ating given differential equations. So, sa pag-solve ng differential equations using Laplace transform, uh, particular solution na yung nakukuha natin. Okay? So, again, kukunin na natin yung, at yung Laplace transform. So, recall lang natin, uh, na-identify na natin yung uh, formula sa pagkuha ng Laplace transforms ng mga derivative. So, i-apply lang natin siya sa y double prime ang um, kanyang Laplace transform is s squared y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0 minus para sa y naman itong green ang kanyang Laplace transform is simply y of s is equal to Laplace transform ng t is of course 1 over s squared even yan sa atin sa mga formula so just have to memorize them and, or kung meron kayong kopya na handy sa inyo, uh, pwede rin yan. Okay. So, next, once na makuha na natin yung transform or Laplace transform ng ating equation, substitute agad natin yung ating mga initial values. Okay? So, in this case, ang papalitan natin, yung y of 0 is equal to 1, papunta rito. And then, yung y prime of 0 is equal to 1, papunta rito. Okay? So, with that, so, ang ating next line will be s squared y of s minus s times 1 minus 1, dahil 1 yung value ng y of 0 natin, minus y of s is equal to 1 over s squared. So, in this case, ang nakikita na lang natin na variable is s na yan lahat dahil na, na transform na natin siya. And, ang next step natin is pagsamasamayin natin yung mga y of s. Yeah, isolate at i-quarantine natin yung mga yung y of s and sa left side ng equation natin and lahat ng ibang variables or ibang terms ay nasa right side ng ating uh, equation. 
So, paano yun? So, pagsamahin muna natin yung Y of S dito, tsaka itong green, okay? So, kung mapapansin niya na-factor out na siya, that will be S squared minus 1, dahil pinagsama na natin itong dalawa na to. Equals, so nilipat ko na sa kabila itong S, dahil negative siya dito, magiging positive S na siya. And then, yung negative 1 dito, nilipat ko na rin, so magiging positive 1. So, ganito na yung magiging itsura niya. So, again, dahil ang objective natin is to isolate and quarantine yung y of s, nilipat naman natin yung s squared minus 1 dito sa ilalim. So, i-divide natin yung lahat ng expression na yan. So, our final transform for this differential equation would be y of s is equal to s plus 1 all over s squared minus 1 plus 1 over s squared times s squared minus 1. So, ganyan siya, no? So, ano ang next natin gagawin? Gamit tayo ng partial fractions. Okay? So, dun sa unang part, okay? So, paghihiwalay na natin yan. So, s over s squared minus 1 plus 1, right? So, s over s squared minus 1 plus 1, dahil pinag-iwalay na natin, s squared minus 1 plus 1 over s squared. Okay? So, yan na yung ating simplified uh, y of s. Therefore, ang sagot dyan na makukuha natin is e to the t, para dito sa blue value, plus hyper, hyperbolic sine of t para dito sa second uh, second term then minus t para dun sa third term so kinuha na natin yung inverse Laplace nitong lahat ng na-simplify natin and ito yung mga bas natin na equation so very very straightforward ang pag-solve ng initial value problem sa mga differential equations uh, pag gumamit tayo ng Laplace transform so, hindi katulad yung mga usual method natin uh, mahaba siya kumpara dito so ano ang key to solving this equation using Laplace transform unang una kailangan alam natin yung transform na gagamitin natin that's why we introduce yung paggamit ng mga transforms like sa lesson number 3 yung mga derivatives and yung integrals plus yung mga fundamental formulas yung common formulas na ginagamit natin once na masimplify na natin yung ating mga terms. Okay? So, aside from that, we have to have yung ating anal, uh, algebraic uh, manipulations. Kailangan uh, handi rin yun. Okay? So, kasi pag wala yun, hindi natin mabivisualize kung ano yung nangyayari sa equations natin. Okay? So, let's move on to the next example. So, again, uh, for this example, we have uh, another differential equation okay? and a set of uh, initial value for that particular differential equation. Okay, so again, first step natin is to get yung ating uh, Laplace transform ng buong equation. So yung Laplace transform na yan, ginawa ko is a 1 by 1. Uh, para dito sa red part, yung ating y double prime, Alam na natin yung formula, right? S squared times y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. Then, para naman dito sa second part, that's minus y prime. Ang kanyang Laplace transform is s y of s minus y of 0. And then, para sa 2y, uh, ang kanyang Laplace transform is simply y uh, negative 2 y of s. So, Laplace transform ng 0 is uh, 0. So, next step natin is to substitute ang ating mga initial values. Okay? So, substitute natin, our equation will become s squared y of s minus s times 1. 1 yung ating y of 0, right? And then, minus 0 dahil yung y prime of, y prime of 0 natin is 0. And then, minus s y of s minus 1. Okay? Minus 2y of s is equal to 0. So, tingin ko ito mas madali itong gawin. No? Uh, 
Anong next step natin? I-isolate at i-quarantine natin yung YMS na nakikita natin dito. Ito yung mga magkakasama. Ito. Itong nasa green part at saka ito. Okay, with that, mapapansin natin, ito na yung S squared, ito yung minus S, and then yung minus 2. Factored out yung ating Y of S. And then yung mga ibang term, nilipat ko na sa kabila. Like itong negative S, magiging positive na yan. And then yung ating plus 1, dahil negative times negative is positive. Pag nilipat sa kabila, magiging negative 1. Therefore, I divide natin yung both sides by this uh, expression. So, ang lalabas na y of s natin for this particular problem is s minus 1 all over s squared minus s minus 2. So, ito actually pwede tong factoring or uh, partial fractions. Okay? So, ang ginawa ko dito is uh, finactor nag factoring na lang ako para mas madali natin masolve yung ating uh, equation ng y of s. Kasi, paghihiwalayin lang natin yan. Okay? So, gagamit tayo na pagta pagtapos natin mag-factoring sa denominator, gagamit tayo ng uh, partial fraction. Okay? So, isa yung a natin para sa s minus 2 and then yung s b natin for s plus 1. So, again, same dun sa ating third lesson or yung lesson natin about uh, derivatives and in solving inverse Laplace transforms, yung pagkuha ng uh, coefficients. So, dito, takip-takip system lang to. Para sa A, tatakpan natin yung S minus 2, then substitute natin yung S is equal to 2 dun sa equation. Ang makukuha natin dyan is 1 third. So, hindi ko na pinakita, ano? Okay, takip-takip system. So, S minus 1, uh, 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 1. So, that's 1 third. And then, para sa B, tatakpan natin yung S plus 1 dito. Alisin natin to. Substitute naman natin yung negative 1. Right? So, that will be negative 2 sa ibabaw. And then, negative, 1, uh, negative 3 sa baba. So, that's uh, positive 2 thirds. So, ito na yung ating simplified uh, Y of S for this particular problem. Ready na tayong isolve yan uh, pabalik sa Y of T. Kasi, uh, ito... Available naman yung kanyang transform sa formula. So, exponential lang yan. At ito rin, no? Exponential din yan. So, our y of t is simply 1 third e to the 2t. Okay? e to the 2t plus 2 thirds e to the negative. So, straightforward ang Laplace transform sa pag-solve ng mga ganitong klase na uh, initial value problem sa mga differential equations. So, okay. Ano ang kailangan nating tandaan? So, we have actually four steps in solving differential equations using Laplace transform. Okay? So, i-project ko lang ulit yung ating first example. Yeah. So, first step, actually, kailangan natin yung given. Okay? Given equation sa time domain. So, lahat yan ay nasa T. No? Wala tayong S dyan na nakikita. So, next, Step natin is to transform, to get our subsidiary equation. So, kailangan talaga natin siya transform. And then, third, kailangan natin kunin yung solution dun sa ating subsidiary equation. And then, fourth, kasi kailangan natin uh, kunin yung inverse Laplace para masolve na natin yung ating given equation. So, we have four uh, important steps in solving differential equations using Laplace transforms. So, pakitandaan na lang and then practice uh, to solve yung mga differential equations. Pwede nyo balikan yung mga nasa module 1 natin and to, to verify na yung solution na ginawa natin doon is the same with the solution na ino-offer ng Laplace transforms. Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. I hope uh, marami kayo natutunan sa module natin na ito ng Laplace transforms. Uh, in particular, for this lesson, we solve two uh, differential equations with initial value problem and uh, we illustrated yung steps 
in solving differential equations using Laplace transforms. Okay, so that's it. At uh, maraming salamat. See you on see you uh, for the next module. So this will be our last lesson sa Laplace transforms. Okay, thank you.